Hey guys, it's Jane from Laser Gaming. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Maxim SMG from Battlefield 1 in the name of the Tsar. Now, this is on the CTE right now, but typically, if we look at previous iterations of the CTE and weapons that they brought into the game, they typically don't change up the guns too much from the CTE. So, we're just going to be looking at this weapon uh, as sort of a preview CTE review. Uh, if we do get updates to this weapon, I'll for sure to keep you guys posted. And don't forget to subscribe down below for many other weapon reviews from in the name of the Tsar. Now we're going to get right into the stats of this weapon. It does 23 max damage out until 18 meters. These are pretty much rough estimates, and it does 13 minimum damage out until 45 meters. Fires at 550 rounds per minute, has a 4 second short reload, a 5 second long reload, and the cooldown for this weapon is 40 bullets. So you can fire 40 continuous bullets before it'll make you sort of cock back the chamber again uh, to sort of cool down the weapon. And one of the main attractions of this weapon overall is its low recoil, its accuracy, and its large magazine. This isn't going to outclass the Automatico or the Hell Regal. It's going to be pretty on page to the MP18, but it does have a very large magazine in 81 rounds, with a reload that's not too bad considering the size of the magazine. It also has almost no recoil, and you can hit targets out to pretty long ranges, especially for an SMG. Way further ranges than you could with the Automatico, the Hell Regal, or even the MP18. Now the Ruby Rolls may give this a run for its money at long range, but that does only have 25 rounds in the magazine, and it's a lot harder to sort of sustain fire at long range with that uh, small magazine. Now we are playing our Bruce Lift Keep right now, as that's the only map that's currently on the CTE. And uh, just some other notes on this map. This map's pretty fun, but there are some bugs, such as in this building right here, it's extremely dark. But I'm sure they'll fix stuff like that when the game comes out. I'm having a blast on Rush and the CTE right now, and I'm actually really hyped for this DLC. Overall, where do I think this weapon fits in with the other guns in the game? I think that it is sort of a mid-tier SMG. It's not going to wow you up close like the... Uh, automatico and it's not going to be an absolute beast like the hell regal but i would say it is sort of an in, in, in between weapon it's better than the mp18 um, and at long range it probably is the best smg to be honest uh, especially even when compared to the ruby rolls and the mp18 if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like down below tell me what you think about this new weapon and tell me what weapons you want to be reviewed next from this dlc but that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I have a little bit more gameplay that I'm just going to leave you guys with because uh, I know not too many of you have access to the CTE, and I just want you guys to see as much of it as you can. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.